Yo, what's up, it's your boy Fel here. Welcome back to a Crusaders Quest. Today, finally, finally, we are gonna do a showcase for Nebula and Dejura. It's been a while, so thank you so much for waiting. Sorry for the wait. I have been a little bit busy, but uh, yeah, we are back. We are finally back. So first off, we're gonna look at the illustration. That's very cool. So she's got some sort of a uh, Robotech arm machine behind her, I guess. So let's have a quick look at her skills. So yeah, it's a lot of uh, text. So Pulse Laser is the block skill. So uses Pulse Laser to deal physical damage equals to 100-300-500% of his attack power according to the chain number used to the frontmost nearby enemy. Okay. And Analytical Engine a Galaxy is the passive support type, so only one chain for that one. Grants the Analytical Engine a Galaxy effect to the allied leader other than itself at the start of a combat. This effect lasts throughout the combat. Okay. The Analytical Engine Galaxy grants a buff to the target and self according to the block skill used with the target of the Analytical Engine Galaxy effect and the Caster. Okay, so we've got two effects here. we got Dawn and Dim Light. So Dawn... Whenever the target of the analytical engine galaxy effect uses a block skill, it uses Dawn, which increases attack power by 20%, crit damage by 15 for 10 seconds, and Dim Light uh, increases the critical chance by 15%, penetration by 20%, and resist penetration by 20% for 10 seconds. Cooldown 10 seconds, but like, it's... Does that mean it's got no cooldown? Because it's cooled down by 10 seconds, but then it lasts for 10 seconds. Um, with the Soulbound weapon, the effects are actually amplified, so you have 50% more attack power and... 40% more crit damage for the dawn and dim light. Uh, the crit chance is increased by 20%, and armor penetration by 40, and resist penetration by 40% as well for 10 seconds. And they also activate an extra skill called Star Calling. When the target of the analytical engine, the galaxy effects uses an SP skill. It's got a cooldown of 10 seconds as well. Star Calling instantly triggers a dawn and dim light effects and creates the three chain compression blocks for the caster, and the block skill is changed to. Hesperus, which inflicts the physical damage equals to 1,500, 2,000, 3,000% of attack power every enemy in the front of the casa for 10 seconds. So it's like an AoE. Ooh, damage. So it is a physical damage, so she is a armor penetration. But she does buff uh, crit chance, attack power, and crit damage, and resist penetration as well. So she's really good support. But also a really solid uh, DPS. So if you guys are looking for a DPS and a support, um, yeah, for your physical damage and even resist penetration as well. So of course I've given her the rapid firing soul for the uh, archer skill. That's just one of the best skills. So crit chance increase and yeah, attack is increased as well. So really good, really useful, one of the best. And her crit chances are really high already, 63 plus 1, so 64. So 64%, so really good. So I've just given her 2 crit damage for the options, and more armor penetration for the 5-star uh, um, sigils. So a bit more attack power, and yeah, more armor penetration, because she does use physical damage. So yeah, if you guys got these ones, the set, but just give him um, armor penetration. Um, Sigils and you should be good to go. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Even just uh, three or four stars should be uh, should be enough. <clears throat> um, yeah. So double crit damage because this yeah her crit chance is really high. All right, let's have a look at Nebula, the giver of the first breath. So she is a mage, obviously. So we'll have a look at the illustration. Really cool. I really like her color. Really nice. Her dress. Very, very pretty. Colorful orange sun. So I've given her two of the... Uh, what do you call it? Crit chance sigils. So let's have a look at the uh, skill first. Breath of Prosperity. Block skill. Inflicts magical damage. So she has magical damage. 500% of resist penetration every 0.1 second. So she scales off to resist penetration, not attack power. She's really interesting. And according to the number of change with the breath, breath weapon. Increases resist penetration by 4,000 while using the breath weapon. So I'm guessing the breath weapon is her soulbound weapon. So technically you'll get 4,000 
chest penetration. Uh, Genesis passive main type, so you need to be three chains to activate. When the caster uses three of their own blocks, Genesis creates a constellation in the current spot for 10 seconds. Duration reset. So the constellation inflicts magical damage equals to 500% of resist penetration for every second. Uh, I think that's just like the AoE light. And for the SBW, launches a meteor at the target whenever the caster inflicts damage to the target enemy within constellation with a block skill. And the meteor inflicts the magical damage 5,000%. Ooh, resist penetration. Whenever enemy throws them into the air when a meteor hits the ground. So it knocks them up plus tons of damage. 5,000% of the resist penetration. So you just gonna stack her a lot of resist penetration and she'll be good to go. And of course, spirit of mana for the special skill. So you get the uh, shadow mage jutsu. It receives 125% of the caster stats, so really strong. And of course, I've given her crit damage, crit damage, and double crit chance on resist penetration. So she's just, just above uh, 50%, so really good. I was trying to aim for 50%, like base, without any buffs, so yeah. Let's have a quick look at the captain's uh, options here, if you are looking for some suggestions so yeah we get these ones more crit chance attack power and you can also see the yeah this is a four star three star rings and of course i don't have any rings and the team that the use is on so yeah really good really strong and she is i39 so yeah almost to i40 i just run out of books so <laughs> one more books and she will be maxed out Easy win, so so they are both maxed out on meat, uh, not meat, um, bread and the berries as well. So yeah. All right, let's have a quick look at the Colosseums for both of them. So should be good. Um, Nebula seems to be really strong. So we're actually fighting a uh, ooh, that's a Dempsey team right there. Could be interesting. All right, here we go. Kuliana. See how we go here. Oh wow. Just got deleted. Dempsey didn't matter. I guess Dempsey didn't have enough uh, evasion there. Interesting. Alright, let's go again. Let's go whoever. Of course we got uh, Beast Warden. Really strong hero, if you guys don't have him yet. Strong. Very strong. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that meteorite's so strong. 1-3 chain, it's what it are. How about just, uh... Start with two little blocks. Very cheap buff. See if it still works. Shin Shinryu X. There we go. So three chain. Ooh, yeah. All right. Nebula, really strong for Colosseum. Last one without any buffs. Of course, be sworn again. Let's see. I think she's gonna melt them all. It don't matter. Oh, okay. Jijura there, that one, but Nebula just annihilated them. That's crazy. That's that's really strong, actually. All right, let's have a look at them in the challenge mode. So we got deep mountains. That's really important to have someone that can teleport your team because uh nebula's got a i think i'm not sure if it's bug but she just gets stuck at the very back like she's really strong but then if you can't hit the uh, enemies then it's kind of useless so i'm just using zahad to uh teleport me forward to where the enemies are so then nebula can dps them down yeah well Really good burst damage too. Ooh, 
Ooh. Yeah, once she starts shooting at meteorites, GG. Police be sworn? Nah, don't matter. Wow, really strong. And Jang Sanbyom cancel that one. Wow. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I think if she if she doesn't get bugged out, it's so fast. Still 45 seconds. It's a decent time. But yeah, it's, her burst damage is really good though. Now let's try the next one. The Pandemonium. See how she goes down there. I don't think I'll, I'll make much of a difference. I think it's the same thing. Just destroy everyone. Oos. Oh, first boss holding on. Nope, never mind. What it are. Debuffing. Ooh, wow. Damn. Yeah. Nebula's meteorite so strong. Uh, last hidden boss. Kionki. Yeah, wow. 143 million. Easy. Not even breaking a sweat. And the very last one, of course, is... What is the very last challenge mode? Mountains and Valleys. First boss. Ooh, easy win. Don't even matter. few more mobs and second boss wow easy win now this is the one that pushes us back but it don't matter because Zahad will teleport us forward we get stuck here come on use your use your blocks Oh, just holding off with the shield. But don't matter in the end. And of course, we got one more. The very last one hidden. Fantasmic Colored. Oh, we're taking a bit of damage here. Here comes the meteorite. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's putting up a fight. Good fight. But is it enough? Whoa. There we go. Teleportation Jutsu. Ooh, there you go. There's the burst damage. So yeah, really good. But yeah, for challenge mode, you just need someone to push her forward, basically. Now let's go have a quick run at the uh, raid. So we'll just do a dark and deep waters. Very quick one. Just put Shub in there and Fenrir. And we'll put Ayendel in there and we'll just look for whoever. Let's have a look at the DPS. Oh wow, double Kaide. Plus child. Ow. That's crazy, double shot. I mean, double Kaide. That's triple child. Wow. Well, the good thing about raids is that you don't have to go forward as much. The boss is right there, so this will be good for Nebula. So, 
three chain. There we go. Oh, I didn't even put the um, I didn't even put put the buffer I and L for the three blocks. But still, twenty seconds, really strong. Uh, let's have a look how much damage we did in comparison to Child. Sixty-eight thousand thousand. Wow, yeah, sixty-eight, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, we did way more damage. All right, now it is time for Dijura. So we'll just use our normal team. We got Yudong, Hala, and Dijra. And he is a physical damage, so we'll use Front as a buffer or champion. So let's see. So she is really good for buffing and DPS as well, should be, based on her uh, stats. She's got a really high crit chance too, so... Oh yeah, there we go. Easy win. Pretty good. Wow. Got decent DPS actually. Probably pair her up with some other DPS and then she can easy PC. 27 seconds hidden. Yeah. We're around the 30 second mark. Really good. There we go. Where's the burst? Cancel that one. One more. Wow, 40 seconds. Still really strong. That's a main DPS. Wow. Yeah, Dejura, really good. 108 million, easy. Alright, let's move on to the next one. It is the Pandemonium. Same team. Nothing changes. Still be able to smash these dudes easily. Toys, toys. Oh, that's not bad, 11 seconds. The Diva King is still, yeah, doesn't make a difference. Annihilated. We got Captain. She's gonna charge at us, but it don't really matter. Yeah, still melted. Melted away. And the very last one. And it was not too bad. 38 seconds, 40. Probably around maybe a minute. Still decent. Very safe. Oh wow, that burst damage though. So yeah, 50 seconds. 49 seconds. Not too badly. Five. All right, very last one. The mountains and the valleys. Let's go. Ooh. One of the five tiger generals. It don't matter. Can't even touch us. And his twin brother, sister. Ooh, that burst damage down. Mm. Real nice. And now this might be a hard one because she's got a shield. So let's see if uh, we'll be able to uh, penetrate Ooh, through. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like this uh, much of an issue. Yeah. Easy, wow. So yeah, it's still around a minute. 
Still not bad. Very safe. Very chill um, run. Fantastic Colored. Yeah, same thing. Wow. Ooh. Real nice. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, Captains. Hopefully, you guys are having fun. And, yeah, they are both really good. Dijura and Nebula are really strong. So, hopefully, you guys were able to get both of them. And, yeah. Nebula does need a little bit of a special sort of um, guidance. Because, yeah, she just gets stuck. She's got the uh, Baiwa um, problem for her um, skills, unfortunately. But yeah, I shall see you all next time. We shall do more of the showcase. And I think there was a bunch of re uh, revamped heroes. So I shall try and um, cover those ones as well. And yeah, thank you so much for your unyielding support as always. And welcome to all the brand new subscribers. Uh, I shall see you soon in the live stream, hopefully. And I shall upload a bit more of the Apex and the Drifting videos coming real soon. We're never gonna get free time. So yeah, thank you so much Captains for watching. And yeah, I shall see you all next time. Good luck, have fun on your pools. Hopefully you get all white horses. I shall see you all next time. Bye-bye.